As the global security landscape grows increasingly complex, the United States Navy is racing to equip its warships with cutting-edge defensive technologies that can counter the emerging threats of the 21st century. From directed energy weapons to advanced missile defense systems, the Navy is making significant investments to ensure its fleet remains prepared for the challenges of the future. One of the key focus areas for the Navy is the development and deployment of directed energy weapons, such as high-energy lasers and high-powered microwaves. According to Vice ADM Brendan McLean, the new head of Naval Services Force, the pace of directed energy weapon development has been frustratingly slow and he is determined to accelerate the process. The Navy has already taken steps in this direction with the installation of the first high-energy laser system, known as Helios, aboard the destroyer USS Preble in 2022. This 60-kilowatt laser system is specifically designed to counter the growing threat of attack drones, which have become increasingly prevalent in regions like the Middle East. However, McLean wants to see directed energy weapons deployed more widely across the fleet, arguing that they offer a game-changing capability in the face of low-cost, long-range threats. By equipping more ships with these advanced systems, the Navy hopes to provide a more robust and flexible defense against a wide range of aerial and surface threats. In addition to directed energy weapons, the Navy is also investing in new missile defense capabilities to protect its warships. One such technology is the trainable decoy launcher, which the Royal Navy recently contracted to equip its own fleet of frigates and destroyers. The trainable decoy launcher uses an improved decoy launcher technology to rapidly deploy countermeasures such as chaff, flares, and corner reflector rounds against incoming missile threats. Crucially, this system allows the warship to defend itself without the need to maneuver, providing a more agile and responsive defense. The contract for the trainable decoy launcher, worth 135 million pounds, will not only equip the Royal Navy's vessels, but also sustain up to 150 jobs in the UK, highlighting the economic benefits of investing in these cutting edge defensive capabilities. The Navy's focus on these new technologies comes as it grapples with the proliferation of low cost, long range threats, such as the Houthi rebels use of Iranian made Shahid 136 attack drones in the Red Sea. In response, the Navy has been forced to rely on high end interceptors like the standard missile two to counter these threats, a costly and resource intensive solution. By deploying directed energy weapons and advanced missile defense systems, the Navy hopes to provide a more cost-effective and efficient means of protecting its warships in the surrounding maritime environment. These technologies not only offer enhanced defensive capabilities, but also the potential to free up valuable resources for other critical missions. Moreover, the Navy's efforts to accelerate the development and deployment of these systems underscore the urgency with which it is addressing the evolving threat landscape. As Vice ADM McLean noted, the Navy didn't take the China challenge seriously for far too long, and it is now scrambling to address the gaps in its defensive capabilities. In the years ahead, the Navy's investment in these next-generation defensive technologies is likely to have a significant impact on the way it operates and engages with potential adversaries. By equipping its warships with these cutting-edge systems, the Navy aims to maintain a decisive edge in the face of increasingly complex and unpredictable threats. As the global security environment continues to evolve, the Navy's commitment to staying ahead of the curve will be crucial in ensuring the safety and security of its personnel, its vessels, and the broader maritime domain. The deployment of directed energy weapons, advanced missile defense systems, and other innovative defensive technologies will be a critical component of this effort, shaping the future of naval warfare for years to come.